Hello, everyone. Welcome to the stream. Uh, tonight's movie, our first Western. I'm excited. I have. Oh, so it's Western scene. Yeah, it, yeah. Today's today we got a Western. It's not a bad Western. It's it's really not. You know, we've had a couple movies lately that really had very little plot line storyline going on and so i'm supposed to expect it to be bad yeah (laughs) (laughs) so so this movie i decided you know let's go with a movie that actually has a pretty straightforward understandable storyline we know what it's about you know it's a western happy birthday keelan i did see that happy birthday happy Um, birthday i actually uh uh give you a couple announcements um before we talk about the movie a little bit is uh one is um Ooh, me and Dylan. what'd you say he's getting his learner permit <laughs> i'm getting my oh yeah and very nice one is um we're 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 setting up a um a uh, a contest so there's going to be a contest with a uh, monetary winnings uh, that we we're setting up. I'm just finalizing some details, and then we got to put in the the little marketing for it. But you know, stay uh, stay stay tuned because it's going to be some sort of like a a scavenger hunt type of thing. Basically, is 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 what we're going to do. So um, it's more than just a pick a name out of a hat. It's actually going to take a little bit of work, which means you know watching the show i will we'll we'll i'll i'll get into details once we once we hammer out all those details but it looks to be very exciting and it doesn't require a lot of work it just you know you guys are already here so um we got that um um i'm a little disappointed that no one's found the uh the the little the little extra that i put into the the best of satan's cheerleaders that i added a couple days ago i <laughs> I added a little little Easter egg, a little hidden thing inside the video, and uh, I did end up showing Rav what the Easter egg was, um, and he laughed. So, but uh, so far, I can tell nobody has actually found the Easter egg yet. So I'm 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 looking forward to the first person who finds that Easter egg. You made it extra hard. I made oh, it's yeah, it's not it's not super easy, but uh, um, we got that and. Uh, so what I'm doing now is is I was releasing just the movie after we did um, after we did the live broadcast, but what I decided to do was re- now I'm releasing the movie the day before. So you would have noticed that the gun in the pulpit actually got released yesterday at 6 p.m. and that's so if you want to you know if you want to you know be extra watch the movie first that way you're coming in with a a knowledge um i find i'm better at that so i have seen this movie already oh you're you're gonna love it you're gonna love it rav's gonna love it um if you have that power yeah. this is this is america at its finest <laughs> so uh so um yeah uh i i watched it but i i do prefer rav not watching it because he's he's just better when he's not watched it oh we got we i think this is (laughs) yeah so file fire yeah so so the the way that it'll work is when we go to live stream the the just the movie i'll drop it the day before that's what I'll be doing. I mean, most of these movies are, I mean, you can go and, and find them and watch them. You know, they're all, for the most Hello. part, free to watch. Hey, Rev. Hello. Hello. Are you live? No. He was so excited to get a new mic, and now he can't even use it. Wait, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Is it good? Is it a new mic? It's fine. Yeah, you're fine. It's better I- than it was before. Oh, yeah. Ah. Oh. Are, are you on your new mic now? <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> what? Are you? It sounds fine. <laughs> Wait, where'd he go? He's he was not a... <laughs> <laughs> so, so we got that. Um, this is a short movie, so it's okay. We've got a couple minutes. You know, it's only like... um. 
I think it, uh, an hour and 10 minutes or something like that. It's a very short movie. So, so we should be, we should be pretty quick today, but, uh, <laughs> so yeah, so we got the two days of the stream. So we got the two days. We're just going to drop the movies. I'm going to try to make the, um, what was it? M Mondays, M Mondays. I want to do kind of like a best of like you saw me do. So I want to make those for Monday. Uh, Tuesdays, we're going to leave for the most part blank because um, that's the Taco Tuesday. And, you know, Tuesdays tends to be, that's Hebrew. So angry Peru man noises. <laughs> that, 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 that made me I never had Taco on a Tuesday. <laughs> so, and then um, um, Fridays, I think it's Fridays. That's what I've been calling Rav Day. He said he wanted a day so that he could, you know, put together something. So, uh, yeah, we, I gave him, I gave him Friday. So we'll see. So it should be a little something every single day. And it's mostly for the algorithm. You know, I don't expect you guys to watch every single, you know, release of every raw video I drop, but they're already there. I might as well release them. So, um, talk about this movie a little bit. The gun in the pulpit is, uh, so basically, um, it's the postman. Have you seen the postman? Which one? The postman. Kevin Costner. I uh, know. No, I <laughs> haven't seen the postman. Everyone, everyone, everyone in chat has seen one. this movie. This is the postman, a Western version of the postman. That's that's basically what it is. A Western version of the postman. Um, so that's that's what you're kind of getting into here. Um um, I find it funny. I will say, um, you know, I mean, just, just, just guessing, just guessing while we watch it. Uh, I'm going to try to limit. Oh, there he is. He's back. Okay. Oh, okay. that's so cute. I I'm made like you, I made you an icon and you're not using it. I am. Uh Did you? I am happy that I was able to turn on my PC. Don't, don't ask too much of me, okay? <laughs> Dude, the 8.30, the lights went out. Like 10 blocks, there was no electricity. Really? And my PC was like freaking out. Around 8.40, 8, 8, 8.60, sorry, 50, my my internet uh, started working again and I just connected immediately and then you call me and then I panic and then my PC won't start <laughs> and now I'm crying. So you're not gonna you're not you're not gonna put the icon that I worked so hard to make. Are you it's gonna right. trip me into using your content? <laughs> What'd you say? I haven't seen it before. <laughs> Show me. Are you gonna guilt trip me into using your content? Yes. <laughs> yes. I worked really hard to make it. Well, kids in China also really work really hard for sneakers that I don't use. <laughs> All right. Well, we can go right into the movie then. That's fine. You don't have to put the icon. Wait, you know, where is the I, icon that you did? I got, I, got, I got credits that now roll at the end of the show. Remy doesn't even have an icon because I <laughs> no one sent me anything for her. So she's just going to have a blank name. Rav, I made you an icon that's now part of the credits that you're not even going to use. What, what, why, why, do, why do I even do this? Why? Why do I even do this? <laughs> Because God is there. <laughs> oh, all right, we'll we'll start the movie here. Um, the gun in the pulpit, you know, old western uh, uh, postman. So here we go. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. What? This is not an icon. Yes, it is. Come on. That's I didn't send Ooh. you that. That's not what I sent you. No, this. Why is not changing? Yeah, there it is. 
<laughs> Come on. <laughs> That's just Christ, me That's who I am. He dreams a lot. But you don't use sleep. Do you? I dream a lot. <laughs> I dream a lot. I dream that once I will stop being illegal into the ice of America. I dream a lot. <laughs> dream on. That's the character from, from Satan's cheerleaders, if you remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Who, he said he dreamed a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most random statement. Remember. Nice character, Ray. I just want to point us out something really quickly before we start. Okay. Uh, I forgot. You can continue. I, I'm, I'm going to continue by playing the movie. Is that okay with you? Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. So we, we'll go right into it. Okay. Here we go. The gun and the pulpit. Go. Oh, yeah. The chickens are Satanist. I remember now. Yes, they were. Any Parsons, having been found guilty by a jury of your peers. I didn't see any jury. Well, they was around. Anyway, what difference does it make? You gunned down Wendy Jones? And he was one of our most beloved and respected citizens. I heard Named he was a town Wendy. drunk. Well, now that he's dead, he's, he's one of our most beloved and respected citizens. Time to hear I don't him. care who he was. I didn't kill him. You've got the right to hear a few words from a preacher. Unfortunately, our preacher's out of town. But luckily, we got Farley Millard here. And he's a feed and grain salesman. And he owns a Bible. No, thanks. <laughs> he owns a Bible. Want Bible. He, I don't want he's any feed and grain Christ. salesman praying over me. I don't want anyone praying over me. I don't believe in that stuff. You're all right, all right, all right. You got one more inalienable right to speak a few last words, and I mean a few. <laughs> we don't want one of them things where the cam takes off with a declaration of independence. <laughs> We're gone. Wait, are you sure this is the start well, of the I'd like to say that this is the lousiest yes. town that I've ever been in. This well, I've met a better class so folk in a San Francisco that. opium parlor. Drunken pool hall bum would be considered too high tone for these parts. I feel like and as for your something. system of justice, well, well, I think you'll fit right in this town. You see what I mean? He was just because one breath away from the declaration. All right, Max. Don't do it! Oh, that's Don't Cindy do Whopper. it! Don't that's do good it! to kill him with a lasso. <laughs> just confessed. He killed Wendy in a drunken barroom brawl about a pregnant Indian squaw. Ed claims Wendy was the father and that he uh, was the avenging day. angel. Wendy was going to be the father or something? That's what I Ed just said. Kill missing something. <laughs> All right. On time. Giving his gun. And now, now shoot everybody. That's the way out of town, son. Take it, keep on going, and don't you never come back. You heard her. I'm not guilty. Even He's so, we don't want no fast in guns there? in this town. Fast guns right alongside with lepers in this law-abiding community. Can I ride back to town long enough to get some food? That's the way out, son. Don't press your luck. Thanks. Bye. I'm going with you. You don't have to. I'll be back. When? Whatever you do, don't leave town. Wait. Never give up hope. See ya. Why well, don't give up? Just give up now. Yeah. Well, if I'd have known he was going to act like that, I never would have lied for him. Lied? What? You would have never what? I don't care. I thought he was cute. Damn it, there ain't a man around here I'd Just... have as a gift. And he took a bath every so often besides. After him! Oh. Really, she is not a credit to your race. I actually don't know what the fuck is going on anymore. <laughs>
Slim Pickens? No, really. Come on. What, what's your real name? Start. A lot of horses. Horsepower. <laughs> Dang, this has more horse riding than Sea Biscuit did. to shoot a man. I can't even eat because of the horses. <laughs> I don't get it. What, what's going on? I'm very confused. Someone said help. What's going on? Gotta be the most classic Western music you could possibly get. It's not a loop. It's not even five seconds long. It's on a loop. <laughs> this is it. This is the whole movie. Right here. We're just gonna chase them all the way across the, you know the Rocky Mountain. It's a long chase. The song started over again. I told you, I told you. <laughs> Thank you, Daniel Petri, for this five minute long chase scene that we didn't really understand. <laughs> Easy boy. You know, I'm a huge horse, right? I think the horses are also confused. Controlled by humans. No, like, what, what's going on? What's the plot? What's my intention with this scene? I guarantee this is shot in LA. Just north of it. <laughs> I'm... I guarantee that's a perm. <laughs> I can't guarantee that. Because it's the 70s. That's what they did. Moisturizers exist. Do they? Maybe. They, they, they exist in that, in that time. I don't believe they exist. Perms? Absolutely. It was huge. No score. Reverend Frank Fleming. Yeah, pleased to know you, Frank. Dear Reverend, everybody in Castle Walk is real excited about you coming here. 
We ain't had a preacher here in over three years. When our last one left in such a hurry, he didn't even say goodbye. He was a pious man, but he had a yellow streak down his back. We're all looking forward to meeting you for the first time. We're all looking forward to meeting you for the first time? Hmm. That is really stupid to put in a letter. You'll be willing to you want to be a pious now? You'll be welcome every minute of it. Oh, boy. White Beauty. Get I'm just so... Oh! <laughs> He does. And there's the other MC character. Let's see what you got, pal. Can't have a western without it, file of fire. You'll oh, so always get a saloon in this. Push. Frank, if ever I catch the guy, did you just did you tie in? it up I'll to a bush? <laughs> In the meantime, I'm going to need your clothes and your horse. Yeah. And now you're talking to a dead guy. Something I didn't do. All right, all right, all right. I'm going to say that about 30 times. Get get ready, guys. Does this, does he not look like Matthew McConaughey? I'd say a prayer for you, Frank, but coming from me, I'm afraid it's liable to do you more harm than good. Well, back to the song. Ah. I am very confusing what is going on and you just on this. He just dressed up as a as a as a preacher. Alright, pull up, this is a hold up. Why, it's a preacher, Percy. Uh sorry about that. Yeah, they're gonna recognize our face. Uh, we're a little too far off to catch that there collar. Is there anything we can do for you, Reverend? Either you boys ever heard of a town called Castle Walk? Why yeah, it's in Arizona. Sure ain't much of a town though. How far is it from here? Oh, about 150 miles. It's over yonder in that direction. How's your church attendance? You know, everything is over in that direction, I've noticed. You boys see that branch over there? Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> you seen the Mexican over there? Boom! He loves you, but he hates your profession. Yeah, I can see how I would. I want you boys to go and sin no more. Uh, we surely won't, Parson. Uh, as soon as we can afford not to. Uh, Preacher, you being so good with that gun and all, uh, how come you didn't just kill us as we was riding up here? Because you boys are children of the Lord, just as much as I am. Oh, he's good in this role. Children of the Lord, huh? <laughs> What happened to his other horse? And you know there's a difference between horses? Yeah, he, he's driving the, he's got the black beauty horse now. He even took the reverend's horse. What? You wanna this be Zoro? Just starving in the desert somewhere. Oh yeah. He ate this gunslinger. <laughs> no, the movie's the movie's back here. Get, come back. Go <laughs> away. He's stealing our horses. Go away, boy. <laughs> to make them stop even more. Wait, that's a woman. That wasn't allowed. Wait, who, who died? Sorry, Sadie. Keep up, Rav. You don't know who died? Well, my I brain cells? Just put him in the ground. <laughs> That's it. All right. Without even a few words? <laughs> Ross didn't say nothing about no words. Then we could have a He doesn't bury. talk. Mr. Ross didn't say nothing about no words. He's dead, Man. woman. He can't talk to the dead. But Sam was a Christian man. You can't just bury him like a wild dog. Can't we stand up to Mr. Ross just this once? 
Dang, they treat their, their dogs really uh, nice. Put them in wooden boxes stay, yeah, and, you know, bring out the piano. Uh, it's a dog? Wait, that's the dog? <laughs> no, they said you couldn't treat them like a wild dog, which means that's what they do to wild dogs when they die. Is it one of Mr. Rossman? Looks like a priest. No. Well, what do we do now? Oh my god, you're right. I look that up. Uh, that's I awful. wanted myself not to come. Thank God you're here, Reverend. Oh, no. There's a dog in there. Yours is all no, there wasn't a dog in there. We were going to bury my husband without any proper words being said. But now that you're here... You, the Reverend Frank Fleming? That's right. I wrote you a letter telling you not to come. No, you wrote me a letter welcoming me to Castle Walk. I wrote you that letter. Uh, yeah, but things changed. First, Mr. Ross said it was all right for us to have a preacher. And then Mr. Ross changed his mind. Gentlemen, what the hell is going on here? Really? I, I want to ask the same Those thing. Words you came should... straight from the Bible, folks. All I know is we've got a heartbroken little widow here. You did say you were the widow? And these are my children. Hello, Hello ladies. Child. She's 18. Oh, she certainly is. <laughs> oh, my God. What the fuck? Well, well old enough for him. Okay, if this movie has m more eye rape than Satan's cheerleaders had of real rape, we're gonna have to have a talk. I I don't know what Mr. Ross is gonna say about this. I've been here five minutes and I'm already sick to death of Mr. Ross. Come on, let's bow our heads. That that look in his eye, why? If she's 18, I'm 18. God damn it! Oh, I probably do in my saddlebag. Here, you can borrow mine, Reverend. The deceased was probably a simple man, so I'll just say a few simple words of my own, not bother to dip into the Bible today. You all say know marriage. ashes to ashes and dust to dust, which may not sound like the best deal in the world, but it's the only deal you're ever going to get, so you might as well learn to live with it. <laughs> I didn't know okay. the late deceased, but some of the works he left behind are mighty impressive. He's coming on to her at the eulogy. I mean, what did he die of? He was shot in the back. I mean, <laughs> I'm the voice of God. May the full wrath of the Lord fall on people who shoot other people in the back. It's a rotten, sinful way to make a living. Amen. Amen. There is a bone in the casket. There is a bone in his pants. I can't thank you enough, Reverend. I'd like to say more, but Mr. Ross only gave us half an hour to get out of town after the funeral. You're leaving town? <laughs> You taking her Can with you? Can you imagine Mr. what Ross, a Chris Hansen on that time would be? Who is this Mr. Here, Ross? Of course. He's a mean, miserable, murdering thief, and he runs everybody in this part of the country. There ain't a soul of us that had a single solitary happy day since he rode in here and took over. He's going to hear every word that you said. Yeah, and he'll probably kill me. But at least I got to say something that should have been said before I die. Why is he running this woman out of town? My husband, Sam, was the only man in these parts to stand up to Mr. Ross. So he had Sam killed. He let us take one wagon load of our things. We'd better get started. Ma'am, the only place you're going is back to your ranch. I'm sure with the help of all these fine citizens, <laughs> we can make Mr. Ross the to go way. to go back to the kitchen, woman. Reverend, you don't it smells like a man who wants to play a hero now. Mr. Ross is a powerful, For the powerful sake of a lady. Man. He's got money and leave his hero, though. And he's got 20 top I mean, gun that's a Western. For him. That's expected. <laughs> well, I tell you people what I really think. Although, he's a little creepy, Toro. Gunfighters. Now, Ross doesn't have 20 top gunfighters working for him because there ain't 20 top gunfighters in the whole U.S. of A. Now, what Ross probably does have what is about, about 15 the cowboys that wear guns for ornaments. They do just fine at shooting up a saloon or making some terrified dude dance a little jig. Ross has probably got about three men who are pretty good at getting their guns out of their holsters, but no good at hitting anything once they do. Which leaves about you two or three men that name. might honestly be called gunfighters, not top gunfighters. More like second or third raiders. So you see, you folks have been letting yourselves be rousted around by a bunch of two-bit yahoos. How come you know yeah. so much about gunfighters, Reverend? <laughs> The Lord's work takes one to many places in many climes. Matthew 31. 
There ain't no Matthew 31. Well, there ought to be. <laughs> Widow, I want you and your family to get in the wagon. I'm going to drive you home. You're going to sit next to me. You know, if, if the only requirement to being a reverend is being sure of yourself, you he's don't got like the kind it nailed. That would back away from a little fight. Where's your faith? My faith is in good shape, Reverend. And if you're willing to take the risk, he had no faith himself. Get in the wagon, kids. Us and the Reverend are going home. This music is so obvious and. And the feeling I have is just disgust. I am a male. I'm watching a movie and I feel violated. Yeah, being oh, well, in the back seat of, of my yeah, horse. That was their first mistake. <laughs> You ride my horse, son. Okay. Just, just scooching right here. He's going to do the whole, oh, it's a bumpy ride. Oh, and lay on top of her. <laughs> Cowboys, ma'am. Who? Where do you people think you're going? Where's the place that Ross would least like us to go? I'd say her ranch. Well, that's exactly where we're going. Well, Mr. Ross hears about this. Mr. Ross is a skunk of doubtful parentage. Mr. Ross is so low he could walk under a rattlesnake's belly wearing a high hat. And that's what I think of Mr. Ross without ever having met the man. Now, that was indecisive, cowboy. Could have very easily cost you your unimportant life. For a cowboy a without a mustache. Answer. For a cowboy without a mustache, he's kind of cute. Those could have just as easily been your ears flying off your heads, boys. Oh, my God. He, well, that's a he doesn't let physics work right. Just have to do that. Say he's cute again. Say, say he's cute again. I don't take my words back. That, say he's cute. Lord, well, I mean, he he's Matthew move. McConaughey. He can be Donald Trump before I can. Reverend, my husband's saying what I'm following you to hell tonight. Which game is coming out? Uh, don't talk about hell to a sinner, ma'am. <laughs> he's going to show her his big yeah, well, gun later, Michael Fontaine. About to be. Oh, maybe to a mom. <laughs> Oh, we lost right, Rav. God damn it! I want to get this family settled in before dark. You don't mind if I order your kids around a little, do you, ma'am? Reverend, you can do anything you want to. <laughs> no, no, don't let him do anything he wants to. Reverend? She said it. She said it. Reverend? Do it! Man, yes, ma'am. He is Reverend, just straight. The back your it looks like a bullet hole. Being creepy. <laughs> That'd be my guess, ma'am. Well, what creep you got yeah, invited to dinner? Shout in the back and not know it. Well, I was carrying that coat over my arm when the shooting took place. <clears throat> well, tobacco's one of the Lord's works, too, ma'am. I'll get my things and fix your coat. Do you think Mr. Ross and his men are going to come down and get us tonight? No, not tonight, honey. I'd imagine that Sunday in church would be where he makes his first play. Aren't you scared at all? Oh, I'm scared, all right, Sally. Not the kind of scare that make me knuckle under Wait, the lights of that Wait, does every Western movie talk like that? I'm scared, all right, honey? I mean, that's the, that's, that's the whole thing about Westerns, is you get that one guy who's just like, 
everything done. goes okay. right. He's so tomorrow, sure. Maybe. Tomorrow? Tomorrow's done. <laughs> But they're normally not as creepy toward the girl. All he does is stare at her. I thought you said the sin of cowardice. Yeah, that's not bad either. Thought you probably had some favorite passage from the Bible to illustrate your point. Oh, I do. Several of them, as a matter of fact. But what's your favorite passage from the Bible that would illustrate that point, man? Wait, this man is a preacher? Luke 12. Christ says, do you think I have come to give peace? Did you just ask if he was a preacher? I came to cast fire. Yeah, is he a preacher? <laughs> He's a preacher thing to me. Don't make me turn Bible? this movie around, Rav. Are you in fun like this? <laughs> yeah, that Luke, he really knew well, No, but I'm actually asking. <laughs> I, I went, like, I went this 20 him. minutes thinking he's a cowboy. I'm gonna he killed let... the actual preacher. I'm gonna, I think, I think we should just let Chat explain that. it to him. Yeah. You don't happen to have a bottle around. Do you? Anyone Help want him. to explain what's going on to Rav? Please. Help him, guys. I uh, seem to uh, misplace my glasses. Did you turn to that spot, Luke, that your mother was talking about? When did they have glasses? It's right here. You don't wear glasses. You know something, you're right. I don't know what got into me. Would you like something to get well, into you? Good night. Jeez, what the fuck? <laughs> it took me a while to realize what you said. from uh, Matthew chapter 10 and verse 34. Wait, Although Luke says pretty much the same thing in his 12. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. Hey, he's, oh, no, what? In now, one night, he's turned into a master you, of the Bible. But I know what it means to me. It means that while God loves I mean, peace, isn't that like when the occasion arises, he's not reluctant there? to use the sword. Matter of fact, when the occasion calls for it, he might become downright irritated if you don't use the sword. I think he should be talking about gun, guns instead. No, whatever's handy. Guns control. Back then, they had, you know, sword control. You had to have a background check to get a sword. <laughs> Couldn't chop your steak. <laughs> you cannot go over three miles with your horse with holding a sword. Now, you folks have had a cross to bear here lately. What about guns? And his name is Ross. They say that people get the kind yeah, of life they in deserve. We're in 2020. And I guess they do. hasn't regulated guns. But when men won't fight they have. for their wives, women, and children, and when their women won't make them fight for what's right, what's the Mandela go cop, Bob? I'm, I'm interested. That's exactly what you got. Ooh. Looks like he got him right in the forehead. His forehead just snapped back. All right, all right, all right. Snap back to reality. Never done it. I don't think you could possibly realize what an awful thing it is to kill a man. He's gonna cry. I don't know He's who God cry. must be mad at the most. <laughs> that man for wasting his life at the order of some tin horn dictator. Me for having to do this thing in his own house. You people haven't quit before the fight even got started. I haven't got the heart for any more church today, that's all. I don't understand this man. Okay, look. He didn't kill somebody. People thought he did kill somebody, so he was running away from them. 
As he was running away, he found the dead corpse of a preacher. That preacher was supposed to go to a town to be the preacher of a town. He ended up taking that preacher's clothes to pretend to be the preacher to go hide out in this town. When he got to the town, he found out that the town is kind of being run by a tyrannical rancher called... Um, whatever his name was, Ross or something. And so now he's all mad that, you know, the Ross is here. You've had a couple here. of fun days here, preacher. Well, I tell you, Ross, you the got name it. Name is Mr. Ross. The name was Mr. Ross. Believe it or not, no, I still think he's a cowboy. Now you hear me good, Ross. Either those two men go for their guns, I'm gonna go for you first. I think I can take him, Mr. Ross. Don't <laughs> like, think. Here's your chance, wait, wait, hold boys. on. So preachers back in the you day, were, it was normal for them Draw to threaten other people? Kill him for you. We go together, we can get him. Was anything normal? Before or after he killed me. <laughs> you don't look all that fast to me. I'm a thank you to God, the government. Friend of yours, Ross? All right, preacher. You pulled yourself off a nice little grandstand play for the folks. Now I want you out of town. Who killed Sam Underwood? You were one of your men. What? Who's Sam Underwood? Oh, that was I that the guy they just buried. I take a whole bunch of you to pieces. Give me the word. I'm sure I can beat him. Oh, go on back to the ranch. I'll be there in a minute. You sure? Now. Rah, rah, rah. That's the way I like it. Man to man. man to I'm the first player to you. I just changed my mind, preacher. I don't want you out of town. I want you right here where I can get you any time I want you. Service is next Sunday at 10 o'clock, and there's a four-bit sign a for being gay. late. <laughs> very gay. You wouldn't shoot me in the back, would you, preacher? Like that. <laughs> How can you not love this guy? Uh, it scares me more. <laughs> Any of you folks think your preacher doesn't deserve a drink after the events of this morning? Well, we just don't believe in the same God, that's all. Hold the fuck are you doing? Hold boys planning, will you? you? Dude, I'm not even preaching, and that hurt me. No. How come? You know, about 10 or 12 years ago, I took a trip up to Cheyenne. To come Play across game, this Sam. altercation between a 19 year old kid and one of the top gunslingers in that part of the country at that time. This kid, he didn't want no part of the fight, but this gun, he was drunk. And he kept at it. Now, here, Finally, the kid who was it that, that said, we're going to go be sitting in a, right a bar, we're going to sit in the saloon and, and it was drink a beer dead. and tell a story? Oh. This, this is it. This is happening. This kid was the fastest thing I've ever seen. can't get away from the movie without that. Caught that gunny flat foot. She has a point? dead before God got to me. <laughs> Have you I'm ever seen one without a saloon? I found out this kid's name was Ernie Parsons. This is the best crossover Ernie, between a gunslinger and a pirate ever here in Castle Walk, dressed up in that preacher's outfit. It's a wrong guess, Billy. You know, once you've seen a top man handle himself in a gunfight, you never forget one little detail. What do you want for anyway? Doesn't matter. I didn't do it. They'll hang me just like I did if they catch me. Did you kill Frank Clement? Oh, of course not. Came across his body in the hills, and he was already dead. I was half starved, no place to go, so I took his clothes and horse and came here. So just like that, he confessed right. it. Not, they can kill him. All right, Wait. back to the ranch. Well, they stripped him. The kids could buy him. Then I'll move on. Well, I leave. Did, did they just you tell us everything? I I mean, in case you were, no, I'm not. You, you didn't know no, what was going on, Rap. You just explained God it again. Yeah, couldn't right? you say it like that? Not that mysterious. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> Look, Billy, what I'd like to know is if I do stick around here, how much help can I count on? Yeah, we, that's a good quote, <laughs> go kart Bob. Almost none. Almost none? Uh, none. Which is just 
just God moving in his mysterious way to get me killed. God will spite the sinners of Castle Walk just as surely as he spoke the Philistines. Echo. Smoke. The hills For the time is at hand for you of wars and rumors of wars. Be not afraid, for this must first take place. Nations He's trying to turn all the cactus Christian. Nations. Kingdoms against kingdoms. Not a head on your hair. I think he's enjoying this a little too much. I quote Luke. This wasn't even supposed to be part of the movie. He just jumped on a mountain and started doing this. Luke chapter 21 and verse 23. For there shall be great distress in the land. Wrath upon his people. I brought you some lunch. You left again. I didn't know preachers had to practice. Oh, there he is. Well, it's either that or watch the collections fall off. Huh? Oh, that's that's a real bad joke I stole from the Methodist. Oh. <laughs> sure, so now he's stealing preachers' clothes and also jokes? Why? Too low, man. Well, too low. Uh, you're a very attractive young girl. Almost too young, as a matter of fact. Oh, my you're fucking God. You're married by the time you're 13 or 14. Wants a kit. Thirteen, huh? Well, I'll have to look into that. Why? Well, yeah, why would you say that? Even if they don't get a trip to Phoenix out of it. Is that the price of marriage around He's here? gonna have to look Phoenix? into no, them getting married at thirteen. Look, do I have to keep on calling you Reverend? Oh no, call me Ernie. Ernie. Was it even strange back then? My full name's uh, Frank Ernest Fleming. All my good friends, they call me Ernie. <laughs> Is there anything in your face? As face I said, in marriage? his head, he's just no, saying, if she's 13, I'm 13. Look, Sally, uh, sit down. No, Sally, don't sit down, run. This conversation isn't going in exactly the direction I planned. I mean, you know, marriage is just fine. I was real glad that my parents believed in it. But, uh, well, there's other things, too. <laughs> Uh, I bet there is. You don't know what don't I'm talking do it, about, Bob. do you? Don't do it. I know what you're talking about. Let's see. Hello. What? Oh, it's these clothes and his collar. It's just, I'm not going to get anywhere dressed like this. I don't see that it makes much difference. Uh, you would if you were dressed like a nun. That was the quickest the romance I have ever mind. seen. Heck, I oh, missed it. Somewhere. Guns are somewhere. I seem faster. Hey, preacher! But I less creepy, too. That's true. <laughs> Hi, Sal. Hi. It's real important. Is it, though? You know what's really very important than what you came on in, of course. Yeah, I know of him. He's in town. My blessings on him. I said they've got and one he's year. working for Ross. Is he really good? Yeah, he's the best. You can take him, can't you? You sure he's working for Ross? Yeah, and he's looking for you. Although he don't know who you really are. You're if right. You know, that doesn't matter. Or does yeah, it? but hey, Romeo been was been 14 been too. Soon when I left town. Romeo was 14 too, it no, was okay. Yeah, but he's saying they both got married at those ages. But that's okay, I you agree have to with ride that. Back to the ranch alone. We didn't get very much don't accomplished today, Romeo, did we? But we? Don't forget this guy. If you have to leave, you no, know, no, fuck no. Can't no. you just feel the ice breaking all around us? They can sure break your legs in prison. Daddy. Jimmy, what the fuck? You know, for somebody who went out into the woods to hide from everyone, they all knew exactly where he was. She brought a lunch for crying out loud. your last chance to ride on out of here. Forget about the whole thing. That's how she looked at it. I don't know why, Billy, but 
I just can't. Then there'd be no movie. The table will be on him at the table. He's already spotted you. Hello, Jake. I was just about to go looking for Hey, Jake, what is he my gun? Your, your dirty mind is perfect for this channel. Just, no, it's just gotta, no, just gotta say. No, I'm a child and that's corrupting me. I've never run into any Parsons. Grow up, right? Any place at all, ever. Never. Too late. You're working. You have now. It's child labor. You? <laughs> so they said this guy's one of the best the gun fighters. In the hiding, but the winner. Oh. So. He's not only oh, like giving him pretty eyes to the girl, but he's giving pretty eyes to this guy too. And I don't know how to feel about that. Yeah. Well, he's into canceling us, I guess. So are we really gonna have to go through with this thing? Show us your skills. I got a thousand dollars in my pocket. Bye bye. And the girl waiting for me in Boulder City says I gotta go through with it. You all that sure you can beat me? You all that sure I can't? Anything I hate is a stupid, senseless fight. Come on. You're stupid. Time to hit on him. Oh. Well, how do you want to the do The showdown. Billy, it's not oh, even high we noon. Where are you loaded guns? When it hits the ground, we go for our guns, all right? All right. Jake, one of us is going to die, and it's not going to prove a thing. I swear to God, if the whore dies, you are dying here. Sure it is, Ernie. It's going to prove which one of us is a fool to call himself Honey. a gunfighter. Ready. Who's gonna win? Type it in chat, quick! These pants always have to be up in front of each other. Who got a shot? Both Type miss. it in chat, quick! Both miss, I swear to God, both miss. Hold down. Mm. No, the horse! Fuck you! <laughs> I shot the horse! <laughs> from this distance before? Never. Sure, I bet I Me either. Oh, that's a room. Want to try again? No. No, no, no. They missed on purpose. No, I think somebody's trying to tell us something. That you gay. You gay, boy. You put your gun away. I want to play a different gun fight. I'm going to get on my horse and get out of this place. What? What just happened? I beat you. You know that, don't you? Oh, no, you didn't. And you know dang well you did, Jake. You gonna give Ross his thousand dollars back? They both found oh, out that they are gay, therefore one of them has to live down. What? Ha are you gonna... Are you gonna tell us what happened? I just told you. <laughs> Folks, see those bullets hit? I don't think it hit anywhere, Trevor. That's, That's my explanation, so legit. Both of them can't die their day. He sounds all mad he didn't get killed. Hold on. I will be mad too. This is how those stupid legends get started. Jake and I have an off day in a gunfight. Miss each other. Wish there could be a thousand explanations. 
Just because a bunch of rummies stand around, don't see where the bullets hit. It's All fate. of a sudden, you've got the miracle of Castle Wall. Now, this whole Destiny. miserable little town's gonna think that God's on their side. Well, you got me convinced, son. Go we'll find your man. But somehow or other, I just hardly believe that you can be Yeah, the, the writers of this movie, Michael Fontaine. A couple things to you. Like what? Well, for instance, you're back yonder in that town and they're about to hang you. And right at the last minute, in rides this gal and saves your neck. She and I have been fooling around a little bit. Are you going to tell right. us the when entire movie up until brush, now? Posses are chasing you. And all of a sudden, you come across this here preacher's body. You find this letter that brings you right here to this here town. You are going to tell him. us the entire yeah, movie up until now. That wound up here. You were close right to the head and just to hear the gossip. More than anybody's gossip. ever been needed before. Now, do all this make you want to stop and think just a little bit, boy? No. I don't want to talk about it. Isn't he like a petulant child? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> You should have listened to me when I told you to get out of town. You shouldn't have backed out in front of me the other morning, either. Now, this whole town's gonna have the idea that you're just a little less than the tin god you pretended to be. Just tell me one thing. What really happened between you and Jake McCoy? I chased that bum out of town. And he's not gonna give you your thousand dollars back, either. He said to tell you that's the price he charges for shaking hands of scum like you. Get on with it. Prayer man, you drop that rope real slow. Are they gonna shoot him? No. Because that would actually, you know, for sure kill him at this drop point. It. Hey, the rope. Bought it. You ain't getting out of town fast enough, preacher. Dad jokes, follow fire. You got dad jokes today. Love it. And he's dead. Oh, ow. Man, that looks fun. I mean, he's got to be totally torn up all the way from, you know, legs. Man, ain't no way you can survive that. He's going to survive that. With a slight bruise on his forehead. Of our ranch. I thought it scared the kids. He's the alligator all over again. The woman healed everything. When you didn't come home last night, I set out to look Did for Did we just enter Back to the Future? Marty, you, you got hit by a car. I'm a ranch girl with brothers. Don't make a big thing out of it. You're something brand new in my life, Sally. Are you strong enough to get up and get dressed and get out of here? It doesn't matter whether I am or not, I've got to do it. We've got damn it. You turn your back, Sal. I'm not as advanced in my thinking as you are. Will I ever see you again? Sure, why not? I'm not going far. We well, have to. <laughs> well, then they don't get your body. Mr. Ross will never stop until they find you. Yeah, and this is the first place he'll look. <laughs> I want you and the kids Andres. to run and dig a grave. Put some kind of a marker on it with my name. Tell Ross you found my body and buried it in the hills. Can I turn around now? Tell him a meteor hit my head and I'm a mood beast. Sally, 
I don't want anyone to know that I'm alive. I want her to come as a horrible shock to Ross. I want to start giving him trouble in ways he never dreamed of. I'm going to need plenty of food, water, and ammunition. I'll get you everything you need. Where will you go? I'll hide out in the hills for a while. Well, Ernie, in this part of the country, if a girl undresses a man, it's customary for the man to make an honest woman out of her. Um. I'm sure that's true in every part of the country. If I live through the next little while, we'll, we'll have a serious yeah, talk about it. I that. think she's asking to see his gun. What's the matter? She sure did. Look at the way I look. Well, it's always something, isn't it? You don't like the way you're dressed. You don't like the way you look. God damn woman! No. Oh, he's doing the whole uh, Braveheart thing. Remember that? When he went around and just started killing people, and they thought he was dead. You know, I got a bunch of outlaws operating up in these hills. Probably scared old Chet and Harley half to death. Blew up the well, too. I missed again. Dang, he's a terrible shot. All this guy can hit is like sticks. Tree branches. Real good if it's a tree branch. They start attacking him with tree branches, that's it. He's got them dead to rights. Too dark. I don't know why all this time I used the to keep having the song. Don't stop. The director is having you use your imagination on how cool this is. It came out like a clown car. What do you mean? Dragging a preacher through the cactus. Them people don't have to stay dead unless they want to. Everybody in town keeps talking about the preacher's ghost riding through the hills and shooting at every one of Ross's men that sticks his head up. I keep a telling them to hold on to an idea. Ghost tickets come back up. Sally, didn't you tell Billy? You told me not to tell anyone. Billy, I'm sorry. It's sure good to see you alive, boy. Are you sure it's safe for you down here? I mean, it's been a long time since I've been safe anywhere. Honey. Lately, it's been getting worse. Isn't tomorrow Sunday? It sure is. Billy, I want you to ride into town and tell everyone that we're having church services tomorrow morning at 10. I'll do it right now. Told you our plans, ma'am. Yeah. For someone who is trying to speak, he didn't no. very loud. Ma'am, uh, <laughs> has it occurred to you that Earl well, Sally might well end up one of the youngest widows in these parts? Uh-uh. Mary Mert's only 14. She's been a widow two years. Besides, she got married, married at 12? No, Grace Dorothy only been married a week and a half when her husband fell down a mine shaft. You know how old she is. <sighs> I'm, I'm sorry, Sally, uh, but this... Can we take a a moron. This entire movie gives me mixed feelings, Excuse and I don't know man. how to feel about it, but I will go to prison. 
Sally Gum. She doesn't seem like she's got like here. she's working with a well, full deck. If we're gonna be husband and wife, then you've got a right to be in on the decisions that affect the both of us. You understand? Yeah, right. <laughs> now, if I stay here and fight it out with Ross and his men, the chances are very good that I'll be killed. But on the other hand, we could leave here tonight. Ben just seemed perfectly get fine being a widow. The first time we come to, go someplace that was no problem. And settle down and just have a wonderful life for ourselves. It's all up to you, Sally. You just say the word. Well, bird. Mom always said never throw yourself in between a man and what he thinks he's got to do. Well, the music seems to agree. I won't kid you, Sally. Uh, I'm a little disappointed in that answer. Oh. No, no it, it's, it's all right. Uh, I got the strangest feeling that I've been pointed straight toward this shootout ever since the day I was born. There wasn't a thing in the world I could do about it. Billy says it's God moving in his mysterious way. Me? Well, I just don't know. Are you very religious, Sally? Wait a minute to talk and talk. Can't you be quiet and get on with what you're supposed to be doing? <laughs> <laughs> She's just talking shit the fuck Have they done it yet? Yeah, man. Michael, like, everyone wants a minor. Everyone needs a minor. Why am I enjoying this so much? Folks, I'm here today as your preacher and as God's representative. As your preacher, I've stood up to your enemies for you. I just noticed this is a very cute job. All it's gotten me so far is a like, lot of bruises and a bunch of cactus spots. I think he's a preacher. I and, understand and that a lot of you thought I was dead and that my ghost was raging through the hills wreaking my vengeance on Ross and his men. They're all morons. And I want to ask you something. What were your feelings? Were you scared that you might have an angry ghost raging in your hills? Or were you ashamed because not a single one of you came out to see if I was alive or if I might not need some help? Well, I'm warning you people. While you're sitting around waiting for God and me to do your work for you, God just might have some plans of his own. Maybe he's not as angry at Ross as he is at you. We're gonna have a church shooting again? I'm not armed. Billy? What about the Go other side? Take a look around. I came alone. Go on, Billy. I just thought it was time that all this foolishness came to an end. We got a new country to build here. We ought to be getting on with it. Instead of indulging in all this senseless killing. I won't deny that you've hurt me since you've been here. Several of my men have been killed or wounded. Several more have run off because you scared them half to death. I didn't know I was doing that well. What do you want, Ross? A truce. A chance to get on with our lives. Ross, if you were sitting on a stack of Bibles <laughs> ten feet high, I'd bet money that you were lying and I'd win. Well, now, just a minute, Robert. If Mr. Ross is sincere, and I believe he is, this may be just the moment we've been waiting for. Luther, how could you believe that? I don't believe him for a minute. Now, Sadie. You are going to believe this man after all he's done to you? Well, Gee, oh, a bad Reverend. Anybody can make a mistake. If Mr. Ross is mad enough to come <laughs> here, please, come here, please. I didn't mean to create any dissension amongst the preacher's flock. Now, you've all heard what I have to say. Think it over. You know, I don't know if you guys realize this, but uh, everyone's gotten quiet because I, I think the, the, the movie actually got kind of interesting. No, well, I, no, think no, we I was actually Googling on the age of those guys, but that's okay. You're right. <laughs> and they were 14 at the time of the movie. <laughs> Wait, did, were you bringing out a calculator? <laughs> carrying the one? Miss Sally Underwood and I are going to be married tomorrow morning at 11. You're all right. I don't know. Second, the ceremony is over. 
My wife and I will be leaving this godforsaken town for good. The ceremony Probably. won't take place here in the church. It'll be at the Mint Saloon. You can say what you want about those people at the Mint. But they know why they're there and they do something about it. He's known that woman for less than a week. The fact, the fact that she looks like that and is 18 years old and not married. What? What's what's wrong? Something's wrong. Can't take all day with this thing. What's your rush, boy? Well, I was prepared for his arrival. One of my feelings, and I'm never wrong, that I should get out of this place. Who might say that? Maybe huh? she's actually a oh, guy. Hey, yonder she comes now. I like that to be true. <laughs> oh, you're beautiful. Come on, everybody. Beautiful man. So well, he won. The guy, so the guy said, "I want a truce." He's going to get married and he's going to leave. I mean, who's going? Seems like a little disappointment. You're the only preacher around here. Well, I don't know of any law that says I can't delegate my otherworldly powers. You marry us, Billy. Yes, Billy. If a preacher tells you I give up, will you fight him? I mean, I know I would, but would you fight him? Now, I take Sally Fight the preacher? To be my wedded wife. Yeah, if a preacher you just go goes to there. you and says, you know, I give up. Well. Would you hit it? I know I would, but would you? <laughs> We're gathered here today to unite this couple of holy. Watch out. Right Why was the door right, locked? Crossing his men to bypass the town, and they're circling around, and they're coming in that way. Well, he's let us down again. Uh, hold it down. Hold no. Down. How many men? Well, I counted uh, 14, including Ross. How long before they get here? Not more than five minutes. Well, five minutes is plenty of time. Go on with what you were saying, Billy. I'll have to get ready for Ross, otherwise I won't stand a chance. Dang, she well, is craving the gun. All right, folks, this is it. Now she you see how much the word means. Ross she wants to ring up the gun. town for just one reason, to get me. Because he knows if he kills me, she wants to see little there won't Ernie be Parson. enough fight left in the rest of you to hold off a bunch of sick old ladies. This thing works two ways. Now, if I can get Ross first, then his men won't have any reason to go on with the fight. So all I... I'll need is some of you to keep his men pinned down while I take the care Goonies, of Ross. The Goonies, Fire Focus on the, the wedding. The children. You don't even have to come out in the open. You can shoot from the windows or from the roofs. You don't even have to hit anything. Just shoot fast and make a lot of noise, but keep his men pinned down. You don't even need a gun. Just stick your hand out and go pew, 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 pew. Just believe it, Reverend, I'm with you. Give Ma and me a couple of rifles. Well, you said we didn't have to hit anything, just make a lot of noise. I just don't think I'd take a chance with you, do you? Come on, Billy. Give me the keys to the hardware store. Oh, he said what I will. Barbershop. I don't hate you people. I guess you just can't help the way you are. Yellow belly lizards. Well, I ain't gonna be that easy on you. Oh. Ernie, there's something else there's that you spankings all happen in the saloon right now. I told right you now. sooner, but... Well, I didn't want to spoil the wedding. Well, that sheriff that wanted to hang you, he's here in town. Where? Over at my place. I told him I was the sheriff here. It's one that I got off our last late sheriff. Anyhow, I told him if he'd wait there while I'd round you up and bring you into him. How'd he find you? Oh, him and that posse come across Frank Fleming's body. One of them old boys knew Frank. They figured that you'd switch clothes with him before. Well, if he wants me, Wait, he's you didn't have to get hide the body or bury it? You just left it and took his clothes? So you left a naked body just in the desert. Ernie? He didn't have, he he didn't have time for that. I believe he had time for that. We're going to live through this thing. I do believe he had time for a lot more than this, though, but he forgot about it, you know? He forgot. That tide was. Did they say it was 
like five minutes away. That's it. Wait, he actually it. just he actually just hit the the body of the, the bush, right? That's good enough. Shooting people. We're not shooting in the air anymore. Well, well, that's embarrassing. Dang, he's a fantastic shot. Hiding behind the fern. They had plants. They took care of plants. No ferns were injured in the making of this movie. Is he behind the window? I get tired. <laughs> That's when they stop it. You got tired. <laughs> you all right? It's like Barely. that guy just appeared from the door just to get stuck there. Listen, are you Ross's men? Ross is dead. Anyone who keeps on fighting is going to have to stand trial. How do we know he's dead? Because I'm alive. You want his head? down here to find out what this is all about. Yeah, I know. Billy, get my horse and meet me out back, huh? You mean the preacher's horse? Go over to the Mint Saloon and tell Sally to meet me back at the ranch. We'll take off from there. No, I ain't gonna do it. I'm a dang fool for going along with this thing as far as I have. I ain't gonna go no further. What are you talking about? That's you want that I ain't bloody gonna bet. let you run away with that kid. Her not knowing who you are or what you are, or what kind of a life she's letting herself in for. You think if I told her everything, she still wouldn't ride away with me? Well, of course she would, Ernie. Because she's 18 and, and you're her first love. 
Well, that's good enough for me. For Ernie? first? When that sheriff finds out you've left town, do you suppose that he's just going to give up? Oh, Slim Pickens is in this town. With one hand. While you take care of Sally, uh -huh, I get it. And if something goes wrong, like she can just stand around with your baby in her and watch you hang. You think I could just ride off without telling her why? I'll tell her. Yeah, then what happens to her? Damn, this oh, guy cries a lot. She'll be tore up for a while, but, but she's young. She'll get over it in a month or two. Yeah, but I won't get over it in a month or two. I'll get your horse. I'll get it myself. Ernie? This town owes you a whole lot. But it don't owe you sad. Can't make any promises. Why is, why is the pirate looking so sad all the time? Why, why does he look like a pirate? He's the best pirate you've ever seen. <laughs> Westernized pirate. He's all right. He's not hurt, and he'll be here any minute. Damn it, Billy. You're right. My blessings on you, Well, Robert. thank you. Ernie, do I know you? No, I don't think so. And how come you know me? Because I know every preacher in this part of the country. No, they're coconuts. you're not one of them. Bow, and bow. I've been hearing about a gunfighter named Ernie Parsons and some interesting goings on in a town called Castle Walk. Now, don't believe everything you hear, Reverend. Oh, I don't. That's why I'm on my way to Castle Walk right now. To investigate these wonderful stories. Maybe you should get them a real preacher now. They seem very happy with the one they had. They had a gunfighter, not a preacher. God moves in mysterious ways. You boys sure do hammer away at that phrase, don't you? <laughs> you really going to Castle Walk? I sure am. When you get there, uh, you give these to a girl named Sally Underwood. Tell her there. Just from an unknown admirer that thinks that girls should have a trip to Phoenix, even if they don't get married. All right. Bernie, did you ever think that the things that happened to you in Castle Walk might be your call to the kind of work you've been destined to do? Reverend, uh... To preach for God? I didn't solve the problems of Castle Walk by praying them away. I did it the way I always do, with a gun. Did you ever hear of a call coming that way? But you left it a better place than it was when you arrived. You're a nice like guy. killing a bunch of people. No thanks. I'll be seeing you, Ernie. He 
basically left a trail of dead bodies. All those people he killed probably had wives, stories of their own, backstories, you know, children. But he left it a better place for one family. None of them are only Matthew McConaughey's mothers. You change your picture. And there we have it. <laughs> Rev Rev does not do uh, image. He 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 doesn't want you to know who he is. <laughs> they seem to be forgetting thou shalt not kill. I believe I believe they did. Yes. That picture is how I felt the entire movie. I just want to point that out. <laughs> it's high moon. I have a feeling I, I I I put it easy on you guys this time. You know. No, this because time. this was actually no, it was shit, but it was <laughs> it it was like when you watch something that it tries to be interesting and it catches your attention. <laughs> and it kind of drops the wall. No, but when it started, I honestly felt we were midway of the movie. The, we we yeah. were. What? Yeah, when it, when it, oh, when it first first started, when he was hanging. Yeah. Oh, I, I mean. Yeah. No, because it. he he legit like went. He went escape height. Was hung in less than five minutes. I got it was an interesting way to get everything out of the way, storyline wise. Couldn't they just show him running and shooting, and then he finds a dead guy and he dresses like a priest? But I mean, that's it. Was it all of that necessary? You had to find out that he was a sucker for women. He was a pedophile. That not. I mean. <laughs> he was looking at a 14 year old. <laughs> well, she was she was 18, but she did mention some of them get married at 13. And he goes, 13, hmm? I'll have, I'll have to look into that. Oh, you meant to say that on myself. I think that's what he meant. <laughs> well, well um... you know, something interesting was that the, the part that they shot to each other, I legit felt like. They find out, oh, we're gay. I'm not going to kill you. I'm not going to kill you. And we cannot be together, so might as well just leave the place. They should have. They should have both got on a horse together and just left and been like, hey, we're going to be best friends for life now. And show each other their guns. And show each other their guns. (laughs) If you think about it, all the buildup could could go to that that moment. (laughs) A room of... A room Varax. Yes, you've you've missed a couple. Well, I don't know, Rav. You didn't miss shit. Did they, did they miss the good part? The, the, the picture that I have right now is like a hundred percent more lore than whatever happened there. It's high moon because they didn't even wait till high noon. They they just say, yeah, we're we're showing guns, we're showing guns, and you just let up. But I couldn't tell you if it was morning or afternoon because you know they they were just all drinking. Everyone is always drinking at the saloon. I mean, it's the eighties. They probably all have polio. They ha- you will drink too. Well. It was yeah. seventy four. Nineteen seventy four. They already had internet. Well, let me let me just say let me just say real quick. F- finalizing is uh, so next. Uh, on Saturday, we have uh, a Stanley Krubik movie. So, if if you're oh, familiar, you call it that. we have his first, the first Stanley Krubik movie we'll put on called uh, Fear and Desire. And uh, then, and then next week we'll have the snows of um, Kilimanjaro, I believe is the name of it, which is uh, Ernest Hemingway. So we have two pretty Hemingway. big movies coming. Um, and, and then I'm going to hurt you. Ouch. The movie coming after that, I'm going to hurt you. <laughs> so Dude, that was so that came the saddest. That, that came really wrong. No, I want to watch a movie and then I'm going to hurt you. Yeah. What the fuck? What's wrong with you? 
The movie after that, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not telling you. But the movie, the movie after the snows, uh, the snows of Kilimanjaro. You know, you got a little bit of a lull. You had this movie. You have a Stanley Kubrick movie, which is in black and white. So we will got that. But the snows of Kilimanjaro, I believe that's uh, that's in color. And then the movie after that, yeah, the be just just beware, beware, it's coming. No, it's not eyes wide shut, but. Uh, I mean, Stanley Kubrick also did, uh, what did he do? He did um, um, the Marine Corps movie. What's that, Marine Like, someone watched that first movie and said, yeah, I'm going to give this man a camera again. We have, you haven't even seen the movie. It could be the best thing you've ever seen. I saw That's, five minutes is, and I wanted to take my house out. A, a fear and desire? Did we put that up? I didn't even know if we put that up. You're gonna love it. <laughs> Full metal jacket. That was it. That's what I was thinking of. Full metal jacket. But this is 20 years, 20, 30 years before Full Metal Jacket. So we'll uh we'll 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 have to see how far he's come. But yeah, the snows of Kilimanjaro is said to be the one of the best Ernest Hemingway's books that they made into a movie. So you know. That that looks to be good. Can you give a plot? You you want you want the plots? All right, with Stanley with the Stanley Kubrick one. Um, it's a, uh, a 1953 American anti-war war film. Excuse me, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get. It's an anti-war film. Those two words don't go together. What anti and war? America and anti war. <laughs> American. <laughs> no, you're that I mean uh, you're that's true. That's true. I'll take it. And then the, the snows of Kilimanjaro is uh the story centers on the memories of disillu disillusioned writer Harry Street, who is on a safari in Africa. He has a severely severely infected wound from a thorn prick and lies outside his tent awaiting a slow death. Though in the film it is pointed out he may have acquired the infection from leaping into a muddy river to rescue one of the safari's porters from a hippo after he falls in the river. His female companion, Helen, nurses Harry and hunts game for the larder. So, that. <laughs> the only thing that I heard was water, and I was laughing. He said water. <laughs> <laughs> what the... All right, so we'll 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 call this one uh, we'll call this one a day. We keep them short, um, um, but make sure you guys stay for the uh, for the credits because this is our first time running credits on oh this show. My God. We have credits, so um, yeah. How do I how do I get to them? There it is. All right. So Tell me my name. <laughs> He builds yes. up the credits since he doesn't even know how to add the credits. That, that's the man of quality right there. That's quality. <laughs> All right. Hey, you, I'll see you guys on uh, Saturday. Um, you guys have a, a, a great night, and thanks for sticking with us and watching it. All right. Roll credits. Roll credits.